Hi, this is Laura Robles of Walton Garden. I'm here today on July 9th to show you some of what is blooming and looking great right now in our display garden. Um, so right next to me here, this bed was actually built on the original parking lot for Walton Garden. Um, it's pretty shallow soil and then underlaid by um, kind of a compacted crushed stone former parking lot. So this bed uh, is quite well drained, dries out rapidly. You can see what we have here all does quite well in this type of bed. Um, so next to me here is Sedum Little Miss Sunshine. This is a nice little Sedum Compaticum type. Um, and you can see this blooms earlier than your traditional fall blooming Sedum. Um, nice little compact mound blooming in July. Um, we've also got some Nephopia in the bed that are, have been blooming for a little bit now and will continue all summer. This is Nephopia Hot and Cold. This is in the Pyromania series. It's one of six colors um, in that series. And then we have all four members in this bed of the Achillea Firefly series. Um, both the Nephopia and the Achillea are in our Proven Winners program. So right next to me here, this is Achillea Firefly Sunshine. You can see it's a nice bright sunny yellow color um, on kind of a darker greenish gray foliage. And then in behind, kind of intermixed with the Nephopia, is Peach Sky. Um, peach Sky starts out with a nice dark orangey peach coloration and then transitions to more of a lighter peachy yellow color. So you can see now we're in that later transition of the color, but still quite nice. Um, and Peach Sky is also the tallest in the series, growing up to about 32 to 34 inches in height. Next to me here is Achillea Firefly Amethyst. Um, this one is the more compact of the series. And you can see it starts out with a nice, kind of a deeper rosy pink flower and then transitions to a lighter pink. This one also has um, a little bit different parentage and if you look closely at the foliage, it's a different look. It's not quite the same feathery millifolium type look of foliage. Um, it's a little bit broader foliage plant. Last but not least, we have Achillea Firefly Diamond. Uh, this is a nice ivory white coloration. And then we found that the white on this one transitions really well. You don't transition directly into this brown, ugly flower. Um, it holds up really, really well for longer term. Um, and then all of these uh, have been bred and selected to have a little bit taller garden height than some of the other recent Achillea introductions on the market, but to also have really nice sturdy stems. They hold up well in the garden. They hold up well at retail and don't lodge. So this is the Achillea Firefly series. Thank you for watching. For more tips on our perennials, like us on Facebook.